This is the story of Marvell Thompson, the last king of the BDs. Headquartered at 6217 South Calumet in the famous Calumet building, he ran the gang in the 90s and early 2000s like a Fortune 500 company. However, he would eventually be indicted with 47 other high-ranking members of the Black Disciple Street Gang, culminating in his cooperation with the U.S. government to avoid a life sentence. Marvell Thompson was born in Chicago in 1969. Raised by a single teenage mother, as a child, Thompson recounted that he witnessed his family's belongings being tossed out once when they got evicted. That image remained in the mind of a young Marvell. And from that day, older guys in the neighborhood that could make money became his father figures. Marvell would learn from these father figures on the streets of Chicago during the 1970s and 80s. Being both book smart and ruthless in the streets, Marvell during this time would rise through the ranks of the Black Disciples. In 1990, Prosecutors allege Marvell became king of the Black Disciples, one of Chicago's largest street gangs, succeeding the then imprisoned Jerome Shorty Freeman. In 1991, the Black Disciples took over the 16-story high-rise Randolph Tower in the Washington Park neighborhood, which was located at 6217 South Calumet. This high-rise apartment building, the BDs nicknamed the Castle, was where they set up a complex 45000 to as much as $300,000 a day crack cocaine and heroin operation. The tower was completely controlled by the gang. Checkpoints were set up and residents and any visitors were searched at the front door by armed guards with automatic weapons and shotguns. In 1993, Thompson was convicted of a murder at a South Side car wash. A judge later acquitted Thompson before he was sentenced because conveniently a witness recanted their statements. In the late 90s, it would be a time of growth for the BDs in Marvell. The federal government had just taken down the leadership of the gangster disciples and many young GDs were flipping due to the lucrative drug trade employed by Thompson. By 2003, Marvell Thompson was the self-styled Robin Hood of Inglewood, feeding the poor and encouraging kids on the South Side to stay in school. Thompson himself would run the Black Disciples as if it were a corporation, laundering as much as $300,000 a day in drug profits through a multitude of businesses, including a rap record label called MOB and a nightclub in Atlanta, Georgia. He also owned the Nice and Easy Lounge on 73rd and Halsted, a currency exchange on 69th and Halsted, and a liquor store, restaurant, and house on 101st and Church. Around 2004, a series of prosecutions began to target Marvell Thompson and the other black disciples. Prosecutors alleged Marvell was responsible for the distribution of large quantities of heroin and crack cocaine on Chicago's South Side, along with numerous murders. Prosecutors allege as the king of the BDs for over 15 years, Thompson controlled public housing projects, equipped his gang with high-powered weapons and night vision goggles to monitor police, and operated a pirate radio station to broadcast information relating to police raids and other law enforcement activities. In 2004, Thompson was indicted, along with 47 other individuals connected to the Black Disciple Street Gang. And on March 29th, 2005, Thompson pleaded guilty to conspiracy to possess and distribute drugs. Thompson would eventually admit that he sold approximately 29 kilograms of powder cocaine and one kilogram of heroin during 2004 to fellow gang members Donnell Jahan and Kenyatta Coates. He also admitted that one defendant paid him $80,000 per month for an exclusive heroin franchise at one of Chicago's public housing buildings. In 2020, amid the COVID-19 pandemic, 
and midway through his 45-year prison term, Marvell Thompson requested a judge grant him free under the Federal First Step Act. In his letter to the judge, Thompson wrote that he was remorseful for selling drugs and that his contributions to the community would continue upon his release. When addressing if he would be tempted to return to the gang lifestyle that made him king, he was quoted as saying, my cooperation with the United States government has been made public, which fully and finally severed my criminal ties. In the end, a judge reduced the sentence of the ex-leader to 30 years, cutting his time by over a third. Marvell Thompson is now scheduled to be released New Year's Eve, 2028. That was the story of Marvell Thompson, gangster, CEO, and eventual snitch the last king of the BDs. It's your boy Emrex El Guapo, Street Certified News, the most trusted source for urban media. We out.